Lip Boss and welcome back to the Lux Boss channel. I hope that you guys are doing good and thank you so, so much for clicking on today's video. As you can see from the title, we are going to be making thank you cards on Canva that are really inexpensive, really cheap, really easy to make. I honestly wish someone would have told me this was possible when I was starting out because I would have done this a long, long time ago. So just to hop right into the video and skip all the extras, we're going to start off obviously on Canva. You guys know I talk about Canva all the freaking time. Canva, I'm literally obsessed with it. Like y'all just don't understand. I low-key wish there were some things they would add to this because I feel like Canva could be like, I don't, you know, honestly, I don't even know how Canva could get any better because it's just that bomb. But anyway, y'all know what I mean. Sometimes you wish like, wish like your favorite sites, uh, websites would add like, even more stuff but anyway i'm grateful for canva for sure especially if you are a small business um let me just tell y'all there are so many different things that you can do on canva i mean like this is where i create my um all of my labels uh these are just some like these were uh, some covers i made for instagram banners for my website on canva uh thumbnails for youtube i mean so today we're making business uh thank you cards rather you can make business cards on here also this is where actually where i get my business cards printed but to get started with creating a design so basically let me just show you guys my my new thank you card this is my new thank you card we're going to be making pretty much this exact thank you card but one especially for wholesale um so you guys are going to see me using a lot of this stuff over again but i'm just going to figure out how to make it um, specific for wholesale orders just because I wanted to have two separate thank you cards for the um, like just regular orders and then wholesale orders um, and I was like I might as well go ahead and make a video on how to do this since I'm making another one anyway and you guys asked me on Instagram after my story so to get started the first thing that you're gonna need are some four by six um, postcards now you can get these in a pack on Amazon let's just go to Amazon real quick so I can show y'all show y'all what's good um let's go four by six uh let's go four by six blank flashcards or index cards whatever you want to call it now you can get these from um you can get these these cards from uh, what's it called target walmart whatever but as you can see, these are the ones that I got right here. So this is 300 thank you cards for $5. This is probably going to cost you all together, especially, I mean, you know, you have to have a printer for this. This is probably going to cost you all together, like what, 10, 10 or $15 to make this whole thing or to make this just if you think about how much ink you're using per print. So that is a really good deal versus how much you would pay on Canva. I'm going to show you guys really quick. Let's just say we wanted to purchase these in the form of a, not a canvas. Let's say we wanted to purchase these in the form of a what? Um, card, here we go. So let's just see, let's see how much Canva is gonna charge me. So for just 50 copies y'all, Canva is automatically gonna charge me $27, equaling $35 because um, these orders include the envelopes because they obviously take this, you know, as a card. So, I mean, it's really up to you if you want to spend that money and you just don't want to have to print them, you definitely can. But if you're trying to save a little coin, this video is definitely going to be helpful. So to get started, we're going to go to Canva and you want to go to create a design and you actually are going to have to put your dimensions in, um, with the, with the width and then the height. Um, so like four by six is really the height and the width of the card, but you're going to have to put width and then the height you'll see. So instead of four by six, you're going to put six by four. You always want to make sure this is in inches and then you're going to go ahead and create design. And this is what your page should look like. It's going to look big, but that's just because, you know, Canva is going to enlarge that image for you, um, to get started. So to kind of make a replica of this, now this part you are gonna have to play with. I'm just showing you guys kind of the basics because as you can see, I have like a border here. Um, I have my logo and all this stuff. So um, I'm gonna make something very similar. So the first thing that I'm gonna do to create my border is I'm gonna go over here to the actual, um, to the lines. And I know there are some thicker ones. There are quite a few lines in here. 
Okay, so basically we're going to start out by utilizing uh, the lines over here. So like I said, I went over to Elements, went ahead and grabbed this first line. I believe this is the one that I used. And we're going to go up here to, you see uh, all of these options for weight of line. This is the style of the line, line start, line in. We're going to go over to weight of the line and we're going to increase, oh, not that much. But we're going to increase the line about right there. Okay, guys, so basically we're going to take this line and we're going to, first of all, shrink that down like this. And we're going to create a border. And the cool thing about this is Canva will actually, this line is a little too thick. There we go. Canva will actually create, like kind of notice that you're creating a border and it will help you create that border. So you see that pink line? Canva's getting ready to help me create a border just because it, it kind of sees that I, that is what I am doing. So I'm gonna see what I did. I did 14 for this one. So let's do 14 here also. And we're going to just match it up at the corner like so. And I'm going to go ahead and copy the two sides. Uh oh, forgot to paste it. Duh, Taylor. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and copy the two sides and then paste this one here. And then I'm going to copy the bottom. And we're going to paste the bottom and just move it up. And they kind of create this border for you. It helps you, helps you to line, you know, the border up. Uh, for you and I'm just gonna make sure everything is good okay so this is not exactly how my last one is um, but it's very very similar let me see I'm gonna change this so that my edges aren't rounded I'm just changing it to this changing all of these to this top line so it can mimic the other thank you card a little bit better and then there we go so let's look at that one boom and let's look at this one let me get rid of this okay so here's our border that's good to go next thing that you're going to want to do if you want you don't have to i'm going to be uploading my logo so i'm just going through all of my um uploaded images over here and i'm going to go ahead and upload my logo to this because branding hello just takes me a second to find it okay so we're gonna be using this logo here which is a transparent logo um, I'm not sure exactly how large I made this one but we're just gonna okay so I know that I want this uh, thank you card to be a little bit different and saying you know thank you for trusting us with your wholesale order um something to that effect but i also want it to still have the same thankful in the middle so how you can choose your fonts is you're going to go over to text now canva has so many freaking text um i will say that this is where it gets a little bit tricky because all of these are not offered in the standard canva um they'll say free next to them if they are but luckily, the one that we need is offered. But the more you go down into these texts, some of them are not offered in standard Canva. Um, but you can create these by yourself. You just have to go up here and actually find the specific text that you want to use and then go into um, go into effects. And you see all of these different effects you can make to your, your text. So that's something to just be mindful of. You can change all of that. Like I can change all of this if I want. And I still want my wording right here to say thankful. So I'm just going to delete that and type in thankful on my card. Uh-oh. Nope. Type in thankful. And I think I want this to be a little bit more on the golden side. Normally, this is the gold that I use. Yeah, I think this one is gold too. Yep, see? So I'm gonna be using this color here because it's a little bit more golden versus yellow. And then we're gonna add in some more text. So I'm gonna bring this down and we're going to delete all of this extra fluff. 
Now, I just want to tell you guys, I am no graphic designer. Um, I did not go to school for this, even though I did go to school for communications and I learned about publishing and stuff. I did not learn about graphic design. So if you are like me and you really don't have that much knowledge, Canva is honestly perfect for you. Um, so don't y'all beat me up if I'm doing things a little weird. Plus, this is like only my second screen recording. This is me really doing a screen recording of me actually showing you something that I'm doing like in real time. So it's, it's quite confusing to try to do this and record this, record this at the same time. Um, but I want to say something along the lines of like, thank you for trusting us with your wholesale order. We're going to shrink that down a bit and then we're going to say um, we wish you, we wish your business much success. Okay. I might change this wording because I'm honestly not that crazy about it, but you get the gist. Uh, so thank you for trusting us with your order. We wish your biz business much success. Um, and I want to change this font so that it matches. I use Play, uh, Playfair Display, which is one of my fonts that I use for my brand. I have about four fonts that I use or rotate out. For my brand, let's search Playfair. Okay, Playfair display. So we're gonna change this font to, did it change it? Yeah, okay, it changed it. So we're gonna change it to that. I'm also going to go ahead and bold that. And we're gonna just set that there, right in the middle. Actually, I don't think I wanna bold it. I think I just wanna leave it. And I actually want to put a little heart at the end of this. So I'm going to go up to elements again. And you could just search hearts. And of course it's Valentine's Day. So there are so many different heart variations on here. Um, but I'm going to actually be using one that I have used before. So I'm going to go to my recents. And I like this one right here. It just looks like it's drawn already. You know. Okay. That's perfect. And then we're going to need to add in our bottom section here. Uh, tag us to be featured. And then we're going to need to add all of our social media and how to e contact us. So to add in your social media, um, first things first, actually, let's go ahead and just do the tag to be featured. This can be a bit smaller. And we're going to do this in all caps. And stretch it on out. And let me see. I think. Hmm, I guess it's okay. I was going to change the, uh, the font of this. But I'm going to just leave it alone. And you know I might even delete this tag us to be featured. Because wholesale necessarily might not want to tag you. They might not want people in your business. They're in their business. I'm going to make that thankful a little bit larger. Okay. So. Okay. So to add in your social media, we're going to go up here and you're going to search Instagram. And you see all these variations of Instagram. I like this one right here. And we're going to go ahead and shrink that down. And then I'm also going to be adding in Facebook. So let's search Facebook. And we're going to go ahead and add that as well. Um, now this part, you're going to want to make sure that you kind of have these at the same height and width. And the moment that it becomes the same height and width, y'all see that purple line right there? That is just telling you that everything is aligned and everything is the same size. So we're good with that. And then I like to add a little uh, mailing envelope, something like this. I'm just going to go ahead and grab this one. 
so I want to get this to four by four by four just like uh oh it might not do it because it's a little wider but that looks about good let's move all of this over a little bit and utilize these guidelines y'all you see those purple lines those are helping you so this is telling me that the Facebook is directly in the center of the card how I want it and if I bring it down too low it's off center but if I bring it up the line goes right through the middle of Instagram and it's telling me that everything is lined up properly so follow those lines they're there for a reason to help you to guide you through um, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there like that the mailing looks good let's see we should get a line in the center up oh, there we go okay so that's center and then we're gonna go ahead and do another text box so I'm gonna do this small one just because I don't know how big I want this to be so let's go ahead and delete all of this and we're gonna put our Instagram or we're gonna put our, our handle basically um, which my handle is the same across Y'all, I was about to spell lunch, LOL. Um, and then I'm gonna put my email address. Okay. And I'm also going to bold that text like that so that it can be seen. And I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. Okay. So for me, um, I'm going to bring down my icons here again, using those lines to, uh, oh, yeah, uh -oh. let's keep going back. There we go. Using these lines to get me right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Y'all can't see this, but it's like seven o'clock in the, or seven o'clock in the morning. And I've been up since five so y'all have to bear with me but this is basically how my card is going to look i'm probably going to change this wording right here but for the sake of the video and just moving things and keeping things moving this is looking good to me so this is how my wholesale thank you card is going to look um and then this is the original thank you card so it looks pretty similar i am going to go ahead though and change this font to be let me see I don't know what color this is let me oh it's it was the same no it's this one there we go okay I want them to be as similar as they possibly can in coloring so there we go so there is the wholesale thank you card so now we're gonna go ahead and get to printing this thing so the next thing you want to do is you want to download and I'm gonna do this as a PNG. You could do this as a JPEG. You could do this as a PDF even. Um, I have, you know, used a PDF to print this before. It was a little bit more tricky, but for the sake of the video, again, we're gonna use PNG. So you're gonna wanna download this. And as you can see, it's downloading. I'm actually gonna download both of them. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and save this to my desktop it'll save for me going ahead and saving this to my no not downloads to my desktop okay and then we're gonna go ahead and get ready to print this thing so we're gonna go to file you're gonna go to print I am using Mac so if you're on a different computer this might look a little bit differently first of all you're gonna change your orientation okay um, let's see well, you honestly can print either way. Uh, it really just depends on what you want. But the main thing that you wanna make sure you do is switch this card to a four by six or switch this print to a four by six on your printer. And we'll leave it like this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and change that and I'm also going to um, Make sure this is on print entire image so that it can print the whole border and everything. And then we're going to go ahead and print these. And it's just that simple. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys these cards printing and how to put them into your printer. Okay, y'all. So this is how the cards look just to show you they're blank right now. So we're going to go ahead and put these in the printer. 
Okay, so just as a reminder, I do have the uh, HP MV 5055. I will say that this is not the most amazing printer. If you were doing this with photo paper, you definitely are not going to want to use... Um, I mean, you can use this printer, but it's just not going to give you as amazing of quality as you would if you had like a one of those um, real high-tech deals. So the first thing that I'm doing is I know that my cards are going to print in this direction. So I'm going to place them in, and then I'm going to go ahead and close in the... Um, close in, I don't know what these things are called, but the gauges here, let's just call them gauges, and push the paper all the way back, and then we're going to go ahead and just close those, and we should be good to go. Thank you. 